so my last pc build video was about a ryzen build so today i'm going to talk about a gaming pc build that's on a budget around a thousand dollars with an intel cpu and at the end i'm going to explain on how to upgrade it or downgrade it to save some money or even make it better so if you have a budget between 800 dollars to 1300 you want to watch this video until the end because this pc build i think is going to be perfect for gaming and also video editing and other stuff that i will get into in a second and i will also explain how important it is for you to know what's the difference between a probably pc and a pc build but before saying that i'll explain the specifications and what this pc is capable of running let's start with the video so with the heart of the pc we have the cpu i went with the i5 12400 non-f version and this is really important if you want to do some video editing because it also has integrated graphics and this will help you out with rendering the video and also you can preview the video without any lag just for a $20 difference between the i5 12400F so unless you're only going to do gaming and you're pretty sure that you won't do any video editing then the 12400 is actually going to make a difference then for the CPU cooler it's actually on sale right now I went with the Cooler Master Hyper 212 RGB Black Edition CPU cooler this one will be enough for the 12400 and it's definitely going to be better than the Intel stock CPU cooler and it will keep the CPU temperatures at a decent number and the best part is only 30 bucks with the motherboard I went with the Astrock P660 Pro now this one doesn't have Wi-Fi so if you're not going to connect your PC build directly to your router I recommend you buying a Wi-Fi adapter don't worry you will have it down below in the description with this PC build and more PCs that I recommend buying so check the links down below if you want to see everything that I mentioned on this video then for the RAM I went with with the team t force dark c 16 gigs of ram 2x8 of course on dual channel of ddr4 3200 megahertz series 16 memory is going to work wonders with this pc build and it's actually 55 dollars so we get it at a really decent price if you're going to downgrade this pc please do not put one stick of 8 gigs of ram this will help your gaming performance and overall performance by a lot so if you're going to put 8 gigs of ram at least put it on dual channel with two sticks of 4 gigs and believe me that there is going to be a difference then for the storage i went with a 512 gigabyte m.2 ssd for 44 dollars this might be enough or might not be enough depending on the games that you want to install on this pc if you're going to play games like valorant and csgo then you don't need anything more than 500 gigs but if you're going to do some video editing and also you want to install games like gta 5 red dead redemption 2 then yes you have to upgrade the ssd to one terabyte at least but this is an easy upgrade that you can make down the line so maybe you don't have the money to do it right now don't worry about it you can do it in the future then for the most important component for gaming we have the gpu i picked the msi rx 66 sandwich for 450 dollars which is a really decent price considering today's market i know it's still overpriced but we don't know when the market is going to go down again so the rx 66 sandwich will deliver actually excellent performance 8 gigs of vram and for gaming is going to be way more than enough especially for 1080p gaming but it's also going to be decent for an entry level of 1440p 60 fps on average but this pc is designed for 1080p 240 fps on average in esports titles so i recommend you buying at least a 240 hertz 1080p monitor now if you can do that don't worry just go with a 144 hertz one but this pc is designed for 1080p 240 or for 1440p 60 hertz monitor then for the case i went with the corsair 275r airflow case this one actually it's great and the price it's just 65 dollars you get a lot of airflow and the design is actually pretty nice so i think it's one of the best options if you are working on a tight budget to have really good airflow and then lastly for the power supply i went with a 650 watt 80 plus gold power supply definitely great for our build now if in the future you're thinking of putting a graphics card like the rtx 3080 then you want to go with a 750 watts 80 plus gold power supply at least but for this build and future upgradability on the cpu let's say you want to put the i7 12700 k 650 watts will be enough still for that build so unless you're going to upgrade the gpu to a super high-end gpu i think 650 watts 80 plus gold power supply definitely more than enough now for performance on this pc this one is going to be way more than enough for 1080p gaming and for 1440p 60 fps on average even on the highest demanding video games like red dead redemption 2 or fly simulator so i'm really happy with this build i know on the last build from ryzen i went with the rtx 3050 instead of the 66 sandwich and that was mainly because of the price and also on the rtx 
3050 you get an entry level of ray tracing, DLSS technology, but at the end the 6600 has better performance for gaming. And for this type of build, I think it's going to work great, especially for 1080p gaming at 240 frames per second on those esports titles that you want to take advantage of. This PC is also going to be really capable of streaming and video editing because of the CPU. The 12400 it's a great CPU for both video editing and streaming, and it's not as expensive as an i7 12700K, but it's also better for streaming than the i3 12100, which is rarely in a stock, but it's still a great budget CPU. Now I'm going to talk about how to downgrade this PC and how to upgrade it depending on your budget. So first we're going to start with the downgrade. So if you want to downgrade it, I would actually go with the i3 12100 instead of the i5. Now I just said that hasn't been on stock lately and that is something that is true, so you will have to wait until you get it on stock. Try to get the i3 12100 instead of the 12100F for the same reason as I said before for video editing. Now if you get the F version and you're just going to do some gaming, you don't need the non-F version. Then for the CPU cooler, I took it out because you get the i3 and it's not going to run hot with the Intel stock CPU cooler. Now this is an upgrade that you can make down the line, so don't worry about it. Everything I'm saying right now, you can upgrade it in the future. And the last component I downgraded was the power supply for 500 watts, 80 plus bronze power supply is going to be enough still for this build, but for future upgrades, consider upgrading the power supply as well. This is a component that if you want, for $20 more, you can get the same 650 watts 80 plus gold as the other PC build for you not to lose the upgrade ability. Now the total price for this PC downgraded, it's $800 and you're going to get an excellent performance at 1080p. I think that for the price that you're paying, you're getting a great PC right out of the box and definitely capable of handling a 144 hertz monitor or even a 240 hertz one as well if you lower the settings on these competitive games. On the other hand, if you want to upgrade it, I will replace the CPU cooler with the Arctic liquid freezer, 240 millimeters all-in-one liquid cooler. So you're actually upgrading the cooling system overall, so temperatures will be way better for the CPU. Then I upgraded the storage with one terabyte of SSD. Like I said before, this will help you out if you wanna download a lot of games. Then I upgraded also the graphics card, the most important part, with the RX 6600 XT version instead of the non-XT version. This one will be actually really similar to the RTX 3060, just a little bit better, but it's going to be worse than the 3060 Ti. But again, it's going to be a way better option than the 6600 non-XT version. And I actually recommend you upgrade into the XT version, especially if you're going to play at 1440p and you also want a 144 hertz monitor for a 1440p display. So you get a really good balance between quality and performance. And then I actually would add three case Corsair fans on the front. So you're upgrading the cooling overall with the 240 all-in-one liquid cooler to put it on the top. Then you put the three fans on the front. So the cooling system overall is going to be much more improved than the starting PC build, which is going to be really good for gaming anyway. But here you're getting a better cooling system and you're getting a better performance overall because you're getting the 6600 XT version instead of the non-XT version. All of these for $1,300. So yes, you're spending way more money. But like I said before, only if you have the budget to do it. Now, if you have a budget between a thousand and a thousand and three hundred dollars, I would only upgrade the GPU to the 6600 XT because this is the most important part on a gaming PC. And the other components like the CPU cooler, the case fans, and the storage are easy upgrades down the line. But if you want to upgrade the graphics card down the line, you're going to have to spend a lot of money and sell the previous one. And that's why I recommend you upgrading the GPU first instead of the other components. So that was my whole video. If you found it helpful, leave a like and subscribe, but most importantly, hit the bell button so you get notified when I upload this type of content, which I do from three to five times a week. And like I said at the beginning of this video, it's really important for you to know the difference between a private PC or a PC build, because maybe you're searching for a PC build, but you don't know how to build it, or you just wanna have someone to build it for you. And that is really important for you to know the difference. And that's why I have made a whole video about it that you can go ahead and watch in the top right of the screen. And you will have a lot of private PCs down below in the description that I recommend buying for every type of budget. So thank you guys for watching, thank you for the support, and I will see you on the next one.